What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. So this is going to be a little bit different. We're gonna do something different here, and it's it's for reasons that I'll explain along the way. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you do, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. This is gonna be kind of um, I kind of want to showcase what this game is, um, and what it's offering to people before they maybe go out and purchase it. And again, a couple reasons we'll get into that. But um, first thing to note is I started a survival game and I was going to do a survival game and I was going to make a survival series on it. And I was just like, the more I got thinking about it, the more I was like actually thinking about this game, the development, how things are going with it. I'm just like, you know what? Let's do something different. Let's start. Let's just flip it over to creative. Let's build the structures. Let's see what is actually implemented into the game. What is actually functioning? What's actually working? And things like that uh, because it'll it'll help give us a little bit more of a, a look at what what osiris new dawn has to offer so i am actually going to go ahead i'm just going to go down here i'm going to go find a uh okay i have infinite hover now good i'm going to find a little spot and we're going to just start building stuff um i just we're going to build like a full-on base uh so that way we can kind of see like what's going on with it what we have at our disposal this looks like a probably a good spot right here to be honest so let's do this um, let's go ahead. Let's get out some things now. Osiris New Dawn. I first played this uh, December 16th, 2016. I believe. Yes, I believe it was December 16th, 2016 was the first time I ever played this game. And I was honestly, I was really excited about it. I was really excited about it. And it was a lot of fun. It had a lot of potential. However, there's some things that have changed over the course of that time that was four years ago and the first thing that i played the first video that i recorded on it was actually their update adding a zeal as a planet and as a new place uh with a whole bunch of fun things that you can go and check out uh i need an airlock uh let's get an airlock yeah that looks good and they um so they added all this fun stuff and they had a new planet and stuff like that it was pretty neat it was pretty cool and uh well Wait, I should be able to build all this. Right? Okay, cool. Um, and they added all this fun stuff and new things, and it was really cool. It was really neat. Uh, it didn't have the look that it does now, but it had um, it had a lot of potential, and it had a lot of interesting things that were going along with it. Uh, that might be in the way. Hmm. That one might be in the way. We might just uh, let's just do let's just do heavy walls to start with on this. Uh, boop, boop. Fantastic. So it was, uh, it was cool. It was very exciting, very new. Uh, it was, you know, it had, they had all the creatures, things would attack you, giant worms that would come out of the, no, I don't want a cloth wall. I want a, I want a heavy wall. Uh, they'd have giant creatures come out and attack you. They had, uh, they added eventually some, some kind of like dungeon-y kind of thing where you could go into like dungeons. Uh, and that's where you'd find like diamonds and lithium and things like that. And it was pretty cool, pretty cool. They had like a little bit of a story going, nothing crazy. And then they added, uh, they added some new enemies that I don't honestly know if they're in the game anymore. I have no idea. And that's kind of what's bringing me to like today. Today, this four years ago, there was a lot of fun stuff that they had. There's a lot of fun stuff that they were adding. And it just kind of seems like it got like, I don't know, these are not textured, right? Um, <laughs> those are not textured. Well, maybe they are. Uh, it just seems like what they had was so good but for some reason it's just it just kind of it just kind of stopped and i'm not just actually sure it, it, i don't think they ever posted anything like you know uh development for the game has stopped or anything like that so it was just interesting how how the updates kind of just stopped coming they're like okay we're gonna switch to this stuff and then they started showing off you know all the new stuff all this new like oh it looks so fancy stuff like that but i mean really like the game was kind of it was interesting it, it wasn't what it wasn't what we were expecting it to be. So now let's fast forward to about April, April this year. Well, let's let's actually go back a little bit. Let's go back to like a year ago. Uh, the experiences started coming out. I believe it was about a year ago. Uh, experiences started coming out, and that was to showcase the new things that they're working on, like the new uh, the new things that um, were going to be available in the game, uh, the new like mechanics and things like that. And then those kind of the, the experiences kept coming, but then they kind of slowed down. But then those kind of became like the only thing in the game. Like there was an experience to check out. 
uh, you could check out. It's like, oh, check out the space station. Check out this. Check out this. A whole bunch of neat little individual things that were cool. But all in all, it was still just an experience and the actual game hadn't changed. All right, let's see. Is this thing, uh, is this thing all secured now? Looks like it is. Begin pressurization. Uh, not secured because I didn't build this. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get these all built up. Um, so yes. So then we got the experiences. Then we got like, you know, information and updates saying, Hey, the game is this far. The game is this far. The game is this far. Well, we never really heard anything since April. And now the game is, has a survival update. But as you know, with the things that we played, some of these creatures don't work. Some of these creatures don't attack. The, the, in, in my first episode, I got attacked by these, uh, this, these nasty arachnoids. And those, since I played, always attacked you. They always had shot acid at you. They always did stuff. Well, now they don't do anything. They're just kind of like there. The, nothing really attacks you. Um, a zeal, I believe, is no longer. I believe you can't even access that area. And it just kind of, it just kind of makes you question. It's like, well, what's going on with this? And I, I don't know. I'm a little worried about it, but, um... I don't know. It's just, it's just interesting. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's get some more stuff built here. So I don't know. I'm, my biggest thing is just be careful in what you do and the decisions that you make. Uh, because I, I just don't necessarily want people running out, grabbing a game just for the sake of, oh, this person plays it. And you know what I mean? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Uh, I want people to get a game that they're going to enjoy, that they can spend the money on, that they're going to actually be happy with playing for uh, hours on end. Because that's ideally how you want it to work. Um, let's see. Solar. Is, what else? What other kind of power is there? Utility, floodlight, beacon, depository, pathlight, uh, furnace, space three, repair table. <laughs> I actually don't really see any other power options. It looks like solar panels are about it. So I don't know if we actually have repair frame, destroy structure, advanced repair. Uh, what is this connector thing? Oh. Interesting. It's like a three-way connector. Huh. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, let's go in here. Let's build some interior structure things real quick. Um, and then we're gonna, like, I want to get a little bit of everything built, so, uh, so you can see, like, if you did progress in the game far enough, if you did do the things and the stuff, uh, like, what you could expect. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with, if I go into a building, uh, let's go with furniture. So, let's get a climate controller. Put that in there. Uh, let's get, what else do we have? Climate controller, water reclaimer. Put that in there. Uh, I don't know why that's bright purple. It's weird. <laughs> no idea. Mm. Oxygenator would probably be good. Now, do I need to turn these on? Climate controller, advanced repair, nickname destroy. Uh, hold on. Let's put this tool away. Activate. Activate. Oh, that didn't have an activate option. That one does. That one doesn't. This is low temperature. Interesting. Now, do we not have power right now? I actually don't know a way to see if we have power or not. 100% pressurized. Hmm. Do we have power though? Uh, you know what? Let's throw a uh, let's throw a fabricator in here because that is like your fabrication table that you use for like everything pretty much. Uh, open advanced fabricator. So this is what allows you to make like all kinds of fun stuff. Um. Uh. uh no. 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 Stop. Okay, well, it doesn't even really want to scroll either. What is going on here? So pistols, heat pistols, reactor pistols, cobalt assault rifle. That is still here. That is neat. Charge rifle. Uh, let's see. Do we have, was there a, the cryo rifle? Okay. Did we have a, uh, a heat sink? What is this? Cooling unit mark one. Hmm. Storage unit mark one. Stim unit mark one. Light unit mark one increases the light things like that okay all right that's kind of neat oh geez let's not get hit by those shall we so temperature warm makes me think that we don't have uh we don't have anything going on here so 
Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So we have a greenhouse. Now, is the greenhouse functional? I'm curious because it used to be. It used to be a functional room. Uh, it had, there was specifically uh, smart bins and regular bins. So smart bins would auto, auto water. They would auto do stuff. Uh, now there's only certain places that you could put them. So like I put that there, but then I could craft more. So let's say we wanted a uh, smart bin over there. And let's say we want a smart bin there and one more right there. So with that, we could interact with the geo planners, uh, bin to soil. So we could press uh, G to place soil. Uh, you require soil to plant. Oh, well, we're actually have to go out and get our own soil. My gosh, could you even believe it? What the heck? So you could plant soil in here. You could uh, plant your plants and things like that. And you know, they would grow and over time you'd have food and stuff. So that was super handy, really good for survival stuff. Um, but let's see, let's get into the next thing. The next thing I want to do is I want to do a laboratory and I want to build the vehicles. I want to take a look at the vehicles and see how the vehicles function, uh, how they work. And then I also want to do a little bit of the custom stuff. Um, and then I want to go out and explore a little bit because there's exploration is what I'm curious about because we have found some stuff, but there are other things that we don't have. So let's go ahead and let's grab ourselves. I want a laboratory structure uh, laboratory. This is what I want. I want one of these guys. Perfect. Looks good. All right. So there's the laboratory. Now, the laboratory is a big deal because that is what allows you to build all your vehicles and allows you to get around like way easier way better it's it's one of the greatest things ever but it is very expensive i've noticed so let me let's see here what is so this requires 10 aluminum three copper and 10 steel and i feel like the drop rates have been lowered because we were i mean episode one yeah this was episode one but still like 10 ingots would have been crazy to me that would have been absolutely crazy to, to get uh creation center oh uh, this should be, is it not functioning? Oh, hold on. Let me put that. Let me put the multi-tool away. That because sometimes, yep, it's a multi-tool. All right. So hover bike, let's build a hover bike. They build it. There we go. Boom. Hover bike done skis ready to go. All right. So here's the hover bike. Now let's check out this guy. Okay. So this looks exactly the same refuel vehicle with hydrazine, uh, requires hydrazine to refuel. Uh, we do not have a little pistolio on it. And for some reason, all of the terrain looks broken. I don't know what that is. I don't know why. Okay, so let's just set this over here for now. That's really weird. It's really weird that's doing that. Let's uh let's check out let's check out another vehicle. Alright, so we have the Gav, the ground assault vehicle. This was one of my favorite vehicles. Uh, what the heck? What in the absolute heck is going on here? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with that, but that's not working either. That's super weird. Okay. Let's go and build something else, I guess. Uh, let's see. Hover bike, Gav, Rover. Okay. Let's build the Rover. Why are none of these working? I don't understand. Ford vehicle. I mean, at least you can see this, but like the entire terrain is broken. What the heck is going on? This is super weird. I was not expecting any issues like this. It's almost like it's almost like in the vehicle. You don't know the texturing of the plant, like of the of, of, of everything. It's just ugh. okay. Um, uh, let's get the, let's get the mech suit coming soon. Okay. The mech suit's not even available. Interesting spaceship. Uh, no, let's get, let's get the mecha crab, mecha crab. This thing was super cool. Uh, it's basically a robotic crab monster. I honestly don't know if crab monsters are in the game anymore. Board vehicle. 
What is the... Oh, this one This one has some, some weaponry on it. Uh, I can't actually move it. It doesn't work. Okay. Well, uh, that only leads really... Uh, I'm, you know what? The Oompa, the uh, Osiris Mission Personal Assistant. No, I'm not even going to build it. I don't care. I don't think it's going to work. Spaceship. So here's the spaceship. Uh, I know it's crashing into everything. Let's go take this. Uh, you know what? I'm actually, I almost don't even know if this is going to work. Okay, I'm controlling it. I don't know how though. So it looks like mouse. I feel like I'm about to flip. You know what? Okay, so it feels like mouse control is like, like right click is throttle, left click is something else. I wanted to try to move a little bit. You know what? Let's just try to fly it. Let's see what happens. Yep. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what the deal is with that. I don't know what the deal is with any of the vehicles, to be honest. Uh, none of them are working. All of them seem like they're all messed up, which is unfortunate because the vehicles are like half the fun. Uh, that bike alone is amazing. It's it's a fantastic bike. All of these vehicles are super nice when they're working, but for some reason they're not working right now. I don't know why. So let's build something else. Let's throw a uh, let's throw up a shield generator. So let's see utility. The shield, Z shield. The Z shield is an improved electro dome. It has a large perimeter while blocking creatures and incoming bolts, but still allowing humans to walk through. Electrodome shield can be placed to protect from enemies. So Z shield is different than a you know, Electrodome. I don't know if I ever played with a Z shield. So. Turn on. Oh my god, I love it. It's red. And it's called the Z shield. <laughs> I love it. So, um, that's working that's really cool now what's really cool about that is like uh before nighttime you would get attacked well guess what they your enemies would stop right here they couldn't get in that is pretty dope i'm not gonna lie that's pretty cool <laughs> that's pretty cool uh okay let's see what else do we have so we have some turrets a uh, large satellite Large satellite light dish will improve your radar site near its radius effect depending on the design will allow uh, sight of creatures, minerals, or enemies. Let's check this out. Let's see what uh, let's see what this does. Um, don't know what happened. Can't do anything now. Okay, so if you build the uh, the satellite, it breaks the game. That's fantastic. All right, so I'm loading back in here. I want to see what happened because like I built the satellite dish and it just broke. It just like locked up my screen. I couldn't select anything. I couldn't do anything. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it's even gonna load. Oh, oh, it's loading. Okay, so we got the Z dome. The Z dome is still there. I really like the dome. The dome is really cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's really cool. Like they got me with it. It looks cool. Um, okay, so I also reloaded the game. <sighs> still broke. I mean, at least the hover bike works, but you, you still can't see anything, which is really unfortunate. Okay, uh, let's check out something else. And the purpose of this, it, my, the purpose of this is, is not to, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like to talk negatively about any game. I don't. And I like what they got going on here. And I think what they could do could be amazing. But I also want to make sure people kind of know what they're getting into with it. Um, I feel like this is, if you do decide to pick this game up, if you do decide to do the things, uh, it's an investment into the future. <laughs> let's put it, let's put it to ground turret down here. Let's see what this thing looks like. Um, it's, it's an investment into the future. And I say that in the most optimistic way possible. See, that is still... 
that doesn't look textured for this. It looks textured for the old one. And for the old one, I mean the old game. Um, but I'm actually kind of curious to see if it'd work. Like, I'd, I'd like to see some creatures coming up here and to see if this thing would actually shoot at them. Uh, that could be kind of fun. That poor spaceship. That poor spaceship. Uh, but yeah, so my whole point in this is not, it's not to, you know, talk negatively about any game. I just want people to be aware because I played episode one and I know episode ones get a lot of people excited and then they want to go out and get the game and then want to check it out. And I do, I, I think it, it has potential, but it's been in development for so long. Uh, honestly, back in 2016, when the Azeal update came out, there was more things functioning in that than there is now. None of the vehicles are working. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. And I get it. They're doing a huge UI design overhaul, and I get it. But at the same time, like, to feel like they've gone back four years of development for this, um, it's, 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 you know, it's a little, it's a little sad. It's, it's unfortunate. Uh, the, that model doesn't look like it's done at all. These ones, this, the ship looks all right. The Gav looks all right. The Rover, <laughs> the Rover's a no-go. Um, but yeah, so maybe in the future it will. Um, what I'm really hoping and what I really don't want, and I have seen a lot of people talking about it, a lot of people posting, is that basically what they're doing is they're pushing an update of whatever they have before the holiday season, so that way they can get some, uh, they can get the holiday sales. And like, I don't want to say that that's not true, and I can't defend that it it, it isn't, because it might be, <laughs> it, might, it might very well be. I have no idea. What does this guy look like? Uh, let's just throw that right there. Hey, get over here. I can't even build it, actually. It won't even let me build. Confirm build. There we go. Um, I don't, I don't want to say that it is, but at the same time, it's kind of weird that it did just have to come out with an update right before. These look good. Those look real nice. I like those. Uh, it just just happened to come out with an update right before the holiday season, and a lot of the stuff is broken. Because if I continue my Let's Play series, and if I continue that, and I built this guy, and this is what it gave me, and I spent hours getting the stuff for this, that's that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not good for anybody. Uh, so I just want people to know what they're getting. I want I want you to make an educated decision on your own. And uh, if that you know if it looks like something you'd be interested in, cool. If not, I understand completely. And like I said, I played it in the very beginning, and I honestly I really liked where it was going. And I didn't really care about the graphics that much. And it seems like they kind of went all graphics. Uh, and like like the scroll wheel, it wants to work sometimes, but it doesn't want to work all the times. Like, it's just, I don't know. There's just weird things. It's really weird that this update came out of nowhere when six months ago, they said they were so close to a 1.0. And it's just like, uh, you were the... You waited six months and you were so close to have vehicles not work in the game, to have creatures not attack you, to have, you know what I mean? It just doesn't seem right to me. But um, the Z shield works and it's cool. Uh, and you know what's actually really nice about it is it stops the uh, this dust storm suit from coming in here. That's really cool. I really like that. That's a, that's a good little quality of life thing. But uh, that's enough rambling. I'm not gonna ramble. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Um, but if you were wondering what happened to Osiris New Dawn, I'm wondering where it went because I was excited about the uh, the update, but I was reading through comments, I was reading through what what people were saying about it, and I wanted to do I wanted to do something like this to where we could check out the things. Yes, you can build this stuff. Yes, you can do this stuff. Yes, technically it's functional, but is it really functional? I you know I don't really know. I can't see the ground. I don't know why. Like I don't know what's going on with that. And it's all the vehicles too. So. That's unfortunate. Um, I was going to go in the spaceship and I wanted to go see if the space station was here. Um, I wanted to go see if Azil was here. I wanted to go see, you know, around the planet. I wanted to take this around and see where the new min minerals and stuff were, but it's ju it just doesn't work. So I really didn't even get the option to do that because the planet was really cool before. I don't think it's the same planet. Um, I would have liked to have found Osiris Base 1 to, to check out to see what it was. Uh, there used to be a creature. You know what? Let's just hop on this thing. Let's just go. Um, there used to be special creatures that would attack that were really scary. Uh, and they were really, really cool. But I don't know if they exist anymore. I don't know. Oh. I had terrain load in for a little bit. Oh. Whoa. It loads in sometimes. Oh, 
What the heck? I have no idea. I have no idea. The train loads in sometimes, but it doesn't load in other times. Also, this hover vehicle seems like it's hitting the ground every five seconds. It's not hovering very well. So my guess is that they probably didn't change the uh, the hover bikes collision with the map because it is getting literally stuck on everything. Whereas before it would glide right over the top of everything, but it looks like the ride height needs to just be adjusted a little bit more. Like it needs to be up higher, or lower, or something. I don't know. Uh, it's super weird. I was trying to see if I could find the Osiris one base to uh, to see if there was a. Oh god. I mean, I've got terrain loaded in now. I mean, that's something. Oh, is that a rubber tree? Oh, neato. Okay, so here's a rubber tree. This is where you'd go and you get your rubber and stuff like that. It still drops rubber, right? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like it still drops rubber. Cool. Okay. So there's that. I mean, that's, that's neato. Um, still looking for the Osiris 1 base, though. Okay, so... Oh! Uh, here's the Osiris 1 base. Oh, it is different. There's a rover here. Can we... Can we interact with the rover? No. Alright, this, so this is a little bit different. This is definitely different. This is not the same Osiris 1 base. This is a new one. Um, Let's see. Now, one of the enemies that used to be in this game... They were super cool. Uh, they were like these like ghosts. I think they were called ghosts. And they were like, oh man, they were they were spooky. They were really spooky. But I'm going to say they're probably not in the game. Because they were really cool. But required, I'm sure, a little bit more, uh, more work. And probably more work to get moved over to this. Um, let's see, do these have anything certain in it? Like specific? Oh, it just has tanks of stuff in it. But I mean, here's the Osiris one. Uh, find the evacuation log. I was hoping that maybe we'd get an enemy to spawn in here. Oh, you know what, though? Enemies might not spawn if I'm in creative. Hmm. That could very well be. That could very well be. Oh, and now we're back to, like, not being able to see. Well. I mean, we can actually see the train now. That's that's actually really nice. Uh, where's my hut? Let's go towards the hut. Let's get back to let's get back to our base. It's actually not that far away either. Kind of crazy. But then everything unloads when I get back here. Weird. Like what what is happening here? Everything just unloads. It's super weird. I just I don't get it. I don't get it. Um. But yeah, that's 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 gonna be it. We're not. I'm not gonna get into anything else. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to, I wanted to make sure, you know, kind of cleared the air a little bit about it. It was a cool game. It was neat. It was fun. It was interesting. Um, I'm not gonna be continuing it until they get some more updates in here and I see some more stuff, because I just, I'm worried. I'm worried that the update came out for the wrong reasons. So, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. It was a weird video. I was just kind of talking, building looking at what this game currently has to offer in its current state and my personal experiences and personal opinions. So I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's great. I think they have they have a ton of potential. I like what they got going on here. I like the vehicles. I like everything. I like how it's how it's all working out. But uh, we need that other planet back. We need the things working. We need the basic vehicles to work. We need there's a lot of work that needs done. And I'm just worried that it just won't get done because it's been so long already and four years ago i feel like it was at a better state than it is in now so um but yes thank you again for coming out hope you did like the video if you do want to check out the game i will have a link down below again i'm not saying it's bad i'm not saying anything i'm just saying it needs a little bit more love and it has a lot of potential and i still will be following it and i'll still be checking it out and i'm hoping that uh you know everything gets figured out and it could be an amazing game one day but thank you again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody